Lakes, California. This is the July 21st race. Over 36 miles, three laps, 12 miles for the men. Two laps of 24 for the women. That's Mike Kluger of Berlin. That's Ned Overend. You are looking at there. And away goes another massive field. Mountain biking, extremely popular in America, especially in Colorado, California, and other western states, which quite honestly could have been invented for mountain bikes, and mountain bikes were invented for these states. It was California, on a, sa a mountain sacred to the Indians, that they started mountain bike racing. The first mountain bike races were pure downhills, but it's evolved for this sort of cross-country racing as well, although as you will have seen here on Eurosport, one of the Grundig Cup races was a pure downhill. And it's Rutherford of the USA leading from Tomac and uh, Henrik Jernis of Denmark with Tinker Suarez of California in fourth. Saw Ned Overend going through there, number one. David Weens, number two. Up with the leading ten. That's where they started. Mammoth Lakes, as we look at the ladies' starts. Regina Stiefel on the left, Julie Furtado on the right. The ladies' field, somewhat smaller than the men's, but a high-quality field, sets off on the first of their two 12-mile laps. That's 43 kilometres, 65 kilometres for the men. Ruthie Mathis, number 254. Sir Ballantyne, 289. There we go. And we are at altitude here. Some of this course is as high as 3,000 metres above sea level. Uh, a lot of the top of this, top end of this course, two and a half to 3,000 metres above sea level. Beautiful setting, but uh, when you get to see the men's race again, Gerhard Zadru Bilic, has, the leader of the World Cup rankings, is not here as you look at the, uh, the leading men. He has done no altitude training, he says, so he is not going for this race. Susie Mathis, number 289, leads the ladies. 248, there's Sarah Ballantyne. Next along on that scree descent. And Ruthie Mathis has come here. Oh, trials riding. Ruthie Mathis has come here from the American camp for the World Championship road racing and track racing events in Stuttgart that you'll have seen on Eurosport. She's come straight from the training camp to this event. As you look at uh, Price and Suarez there, third and fourth behind Dave Weens and uh, Tarmac Tomac. That's Rishi Grewal and Tom Rogers. Grewal in the white. Three is Rutherford with Ned Overend right behind him. The legend of mountain bike racing now. Something around, what, 34, is he? There's the leader, Dave Weens, the vanilla gorilla. Out front, you can see he's pumping around a fairly low gear. And a lot of the American mountain bike racers domiciled in Colorado work and train at altitude, so this... Mammoth Lakes track not hurting them. Rishi Grewal, Tom Rogers, Tinker Juarez and Tom Price along here in a bunch just to prove that this is a, uh, a course really for the home riders. Dave Williams goes through. That looks like Tomac. We're with the leading women. Ruthie Mathis, the road racer, converted to mountain bike racing, recently goes through first. There's Sarah Ballantyne in second. We have lost Regina Stiefel. That's Tammy Jacks in third place. Stiefel, along with her countryman, Mike Kluger, pulled out. Couldn't cope with the climbs and the attitude, they said. And indeed, Ruthie Mathers takes the win. There she is. Ruthie 
not bad for her. <laughs> and is she pleased? Here's Ballantyne through next, Sarah Ballantyne. And Tammy Jack gets third. Well, it was worth it, Ruthie, wasn't it? Coming from the World Championship training camp. Dave Williams still leads the men. Tomac is still second. And Ned Overend, the old man, he's up to third. The team's specialised rider. And you can see, even though, as I keep saying, our cameras tend to flatten out the gradient, so you can see exactly what hard work top-level mountain bike racing is. Very rugged, specialised bicycles, of course, they use now. That's a capital S and a lowercase s, as we look at the leader, Dave Weens. Tyres are the pronounced knobbly pattern for coping with everything from mud to dry rock. Suspension, disc brakes, they have everything. As you look at Ned Overend in third place. There's Dave Wintz in the lead. And that's Tomac right behind him. Overended in third. So it's an American one, two, three. Make that one, two, three, four, because there's Tinka Suarez. And next along, Rishi Grewal. Not a particularly good race for Rishi who was potentially going to take over the World Cup lead here with a decent finish. We'll have to do the sums later as Dave Wiens, almost outpacing his motorcycle outrider, comes through for the win in Mammoth Lakes. Look for the green jersey, look to see if it's Tomac next through. It is Tomac. Looking back to see where Ned Overend is. The man we're expecting through in third. Number one is an overend. If you see 13, it's Tinker Suarez who's got him. It's overend. The grand old man, if I may make so bold, of mountain bike racing gets on the rostrum. Our hill climb winner two days ago comes And as the crowd wait for the down field meant to finish. You see that Mathis, Ballantyne and Jax did indeed make an all-American rostrum for the ladies. And the overall championship now stands at Ballantyne, Furtado and Regina Stiefel, despite her DNF, keeps third place. In the men's race, Rishi Grewal does go top just from Gerhardt Zadro Billick. Henrik Jernis hangs on to third place overall. There's the top five at Mammoth Lakes. Come back in a minute for Park City.